Hello, hello, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I am back with another wine review. These are very simple, straight to the point, no frills, no thrills type of wine reviews. I have a very simple grading system. Thumbs up, I highly recommend that wine. Three quarters, you know, I mean, I would drink it if it was at a party. I, heck, I may even pick up a bottle, but I want to know what you think. Uh, halfway, it's just not for me, but don't be discouraged for trying it yourself. Give it a try, comment, let me know what you think. Thumbs down. Get that wine out of here. Now, these are wines that you find on your everyday shelves of your grocery stores and liquor stores and maybe even some wine shops. And sometimes I have a tendency to taste some of the more popular brands out there that's just driving anybody crazy. And I give you my opinion about them. Now, on today's show, we are doing Viper. Viper Rosso Dolce, a sweet red. Now, this is a non vintage wine. I tried to get some information about the grapes, you know, but it's so secret that. It was proprietary. They would not tell me, or I couldn't find out what the grapes were or the blend, if there's a blend in this wine. But I will tell you this. There's a little bit of fizz there because, I, you know, I do taste the wines. I do really take some of the wine out, bring it down to the shoulders. You know, so every wine is tasted the same. So there's a little bit of fizz there on this wine, you know, and um, it's a sweet red, Dolce sweet. We'll see what we got here. So screw cap again. You know, you heard that it also it maintains freshness. Now, do you have those purists out there who frown upon screw caps? I myself, this is my opinion. This is my take. If the wine in the bottle is bad with a screw cap, that means it went in that way. You have to worry about oxygen this, oxygen that, you know, bad cork. If the wine is bad, it went in that way. So that's my take on screw caps. In fact, I'm just like I just like wine. If it's a screw cap, synthetic cap, cork, uh, traditional cork, doesn't matter to me, as long as the wine is good. All right. So now, look at that nice little garnet or ruby color on this wine here. Wow, it's bursting with berry flavor. And I'll probably even put my nose in it. So let's put my nose inside. Okay. Now, so we have like candied, a candied nose with a blend of berry, almost like a like a berry cobbler you have going on here. All right, so here we go. Here's the taste. Or better yet, the Ritz. Now, again, bursting with berry flavors going on here. I mean. Here's what I taste. There's a little bit of city there, but also we have the, the light fizz. So this is like to me, like, I'll tell you after I taste it the second time. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. This is like a throwback to the old school Lambrusco. All right. I want you guys to know, even though I'm drinking a sweet wine, I do great sweet wines fairly. I don't say, oh, it's sweet. I don't like it. I'm not that guy. If it's a if it's a solid wine and it's sweet, it's going to get a good grading. So this here is a throwback. If you're a sweet wine drinker and you, you love Lambrusco's, I think you'll like this. I think it's kind of soft on, on the uh, fizz though, but it's not so bad. Sangria ready. Pour it over some ice, some fruit, and it, it's good to go. Spike it a little bit if you want. So I think it's just an all-around, you know, uh, fun wine again, a fun rhyme, patio pounder, we used to call them, you know, so a nice little patio pounder wine. But I'm going to give it three quarters, you know, uh, Lambrusco has, has greatly improved, you know, even in Lambrusco was from back in the day, had a little bit more fizz than this. I mean, but this is a, a pretty nice, you know, fruit bomb, sweet, you know, and depending on your palate, it can be very sweet. You know, but I think it'd be a, a good wine to use in cocktails, good wine to use it with sangria, you know, and just an overall party wine. So your Wisconsin wine guy gives the Viper Rosso Dolce Sweet Red three quarters. You know, I read for your sweet wine drinkers, go out and get it, give it a try, see what you think. Because most of you don't realize there's some red wines that are sweet as well. So it's your Wisconsin wine guy saying until next time as always. Let your palate be the guide when choosing your wine. Bye.